Welcome to Colonial RV. So Winnebago has done it. It's January 2022 and the all-electric RV has made its way to one of the largest RV shows in the country in Tampa, Florida, which you can see this week now through January 23rd. And since Winnebago's unveiling, we've been contacted by several of our customers with questions, which we'd like to just hopefully answer in this short YouTube video, just to tell you a little bit about what we know and what we don't know. And here at Colonial RV, I've been selling the Winnebago motorhomes for nine years, and I also drive an electric vehicle uh, to work every day, which has been for two years now, and just with over 42,000 miles traveled, I can tell you a little bit about some of my experiences uh, through the years. Okay, so what did Winnebago actually do, and what does this mean to the RV world? Well, first, what we do know is this is just a concept. And as an RV dealer who sells the full line of Winnebago motorhomes, we don't expect Winnebago to start mass production this year in 2022. It's hopeful, but doubtful. Now, as far as 2023 in the near future, it certainly is possible, as we see in this video, that Winnebago's advanced technology group, ATG, has not only built their first electric RV, but it's also been driven and tested for thousands of miles already before the show. But again, as today there is no official posted date for a start date, certainly stay tuned and we will keep you updated. Now second, after seeing this live reveal yesterday of the, the first electric RV, we certainly know that it was very, very cool. Number one, it does not have any fuel, propane, and a noisy generator, which is really awesome. And yesterday's reveal showed us that Winnebago is still a leader and innovator in the RV industry. Now, as far as the all electric part, now before we get to the specifics on this RV, what Winnebago has done, and I think we just wanna talk about with electric vehicles as we sit here in 2022, we are all very well aware that the automotive sector in the United States, as well as worldwide, has shifted away from the internal combustion engines, or ICE, and started mass producing now electric vehicles. About four years ago, I was sitting in a Winnebago factory training and the Mercedes rep that was there had already told us that most of the automotive engineers from all major auto companies have completely ceased ICE or internal combustion engine vehicle research and focus entirely the technology on electric vehicles and the way of the future. Statistically, we all know that the, the EV sector is growing. And just to give you a taste of some of the facts of how fast that growth is, just in 2011, there were about 10 model years for sale. In 2018, the United States, it hit the 1 million mark for registrations of electric vehicles. In 2021, up to 50 models. Personally, I started researching electric vehicles because the dealership that I worked for here at Colonial was changing locations, and my commute was going to double from 50 miles round trip to 100 miles daily. Knowing what my fuel and operating costs were going to be annually, I quickly did some math and I could see that changing to an electric vehicle would probably save me some costs. Naturally, I knew the car would cost more, but figuring all of my electric expenses and how much my electricity would increase annually, I could see that with the fuel, oil changes, etc., my operating costs annually was going to be about $3,000 less, and that's per year. So I made the plunge and I sold my ICE car and purchased an EV. Honestly, it's been the most pleasurable experience for me and I haven't looked back every minute behind the wheel. Okay, so back to the concept RV that we've seen. Winnebago yesterday, let's talk quickly about and demonstrate what we see. In charging, which Winnebago talked about, 45 minutes to charge. Please note, this means by a supercharger, which we can find on the highways as well as campgrounds, or when you're traveling, you have other options, but it will charge a little bit slower if you're at home. You can also opt to have a regular charger installed, which an electrician can do, not with just a 15 amp outlet, which would take probably a couple days, but a, say a 60 amp outlet, which would charge in about three to four hours. So you will charge faster at home, and personally I have a 60 amp charger installed in my home, which takes about three to four hours to charge. Probably is gonna be very similar in this RV. As far as the number of highway charging stations or campgrounds, when I first purchased my electric vehicle, I, I really wanted to worry or think about, am I gonna be able to charge and get to my destination? But just in two short years, I've seen so many charging stations pop up all over, which makes it a lot easier for longer trips. When we get to range, this is one of the keys for most buyers since driving an electric vehicle, you wanna see how far you can go and a number of the factors will come into play. Winnebago had mentioned yesterday that you're gonna travel about approximately 125 miles on one full charge, but you also have to factor in some other things. You're gonna factor in the weight of the vehicle, what's the temperature outside, uh, and how many passengers you have. Also, as far as the weight of the car, maybe a B van will be different than a Class C or even uh, an electric car modeled after like a Tesla midsize car. But 125 mile range is certainly something that in this concept will probably increase as the technology improves. 
Now, without a doubt, if you live in a colder climate, you will have less range for someone who lives in a warmer climate. So the true range is certainly something to consider, but as time goes on, in my opinion, it will improve, which Winnebago will find that they're in a cold climate. The advantages, you got fuel saving, cost savings, uh, you help with pollution. You reduce noise, not only when you're driving the RV, but also when you're camping. Now, as far as safety, with battery technology using makeup, the bottom part of the vehicle, you also have less chance of rolling if the vehicle was in a crash. With lower center of gravity, it certainly is safer, statistically showing. The other part I really love about electric vehicles is the technology that comes along with it. And with an electric car, you pretty much can do everything with your smartphone other than drive it for you. But Winnebago is certainly going to showcase this one place screen that we've seen in their video to control all aspects of the systems of the RV, which is really, really cool. One last thing I want to mention as far as electric vehicles is the tires. It's something to consider because with an electric vehicle, you have usually more torque and, and power in the motors, which will wear the tires. So with a larger RV, it's also something to take a look at and consider, but I'm sure Winnebago will have it figured out as time goes on in, in the construction and production. So if you're looking to get out and explore the country and you're considering electric RV, it certainly is an exciting time. And we are happy to represent Winnebago and a brand here at Colonial. And as a salesman who only sells the Winnebago line, I'm also very excited to see what Winnebago has in store for us in the next few years to come with EV RVs. Contact us if you'd like to be on our list of potential EV RV owners in the future, and we can certainly keep you updated with the news once we receive it from the factory. Or if you have further questions, please give us a call at 1-800-265-9019 or visit our website at colonialrv.com. And from all of us here at Colonial RV in the Jersey Coast, thanks for watching and make sure you plug in carefully.